so in this video i'm going to explain to you what annotations and aggregations means in django and i'm also going to show you how you can implement these two features in your code you understand so in django annotation and aggregations are powerful features that allow you to perform calculations on query sets and you, have, and you can retrieve aggregated results from your database you understand so these features helps you to avoid making multiple queries to your database and also enable you to efficiently retrieve and process data you understand so right now we have our model called we have this product model and this product model consists of three fields the name the price and the quantity but right now we want to add an extra field but not on the model.py file we want to have an extra field called total value which is going to be the product price times the quantity but right now i'm not going to add that field here i won't add the field here so i'm going to simply use the annotate method to add this field so i'm going to show you how this is being done and it's that so i'm going to explain what annotations means right now annotations are used to add extra information or calculated fields to each to each object in a query set hope you understand so that what annotation majorly does it helps to add it helps to add extra information or, or a calculated field to each object in the query set you understand so right now i want to add an extra field called total value you understand and we are going to use the annotate method to add this field so let's do that right away so i move down to my views by file so right now i'm simply listing out all the products you understand on my in the views yeah there's all the product i'm listing out so if i go down to my templates okay so if i go down to my browse to, to the template right now you can see i have the I have my product on the browser, I have my product on my screen. The first is the product name. The next one we have is the product price. Our last number here is the quantity. Up here that's two. So right now I want to have an extra field called total value, which is the which is the which that's when you multiply the product price by the quantity. So how do you go about that? So let's go down here. So now I'm gonna see just come here and say product.object.annotate annotate and then we are going to have the field called total value total underscore value and it's going to be equal to so i'm going to use the f i'm going to use this f keyword from django so i'm going to simply import it now say from django dot db i'm going to simply import so from from django dot db dot models i'm going to simply import this F keyword in this time. So once we've done that now, just come over here and we just say total value should be equal to we're gonna say F and then I'm gonna put in if you check closely, I'm gonna put in this this field name called price and then quantity. So let's do that right away. We're gonna come here and say price and then outside of the bracket you say multiplied by the quantity. Okay, get so let's do that right away. Quantity so you check closely these two fields are coming from the product model you understand so right now we just did this now we just added an extra fit called total value and this total value is simply the product of the price times quantity you understand so that's what it means there now so now if you run my, my server is kind of broken let's run the server again so run server so you, so you might be wondering what is the f keyword used for so the f expression this f you see right this f we are using up here the f expression is used to refer to the fields of a model of a model in the stand so it can allow to perform it can allow you to perform calculations based on those fields in the stand so what the f this f keyword does here hope you understand so right now we've been able to add an extra field called total value so now we are going to go down to our let's go down to the to our template so right now we have the product.name we have the product.price and we also have the quantity so let's add the total value just come over here and say product.total underscore value you understand so remember this is this field is not in our models it's not in the model.py file you remember it's not there we go down there we don't have it there you understand so to your browser let's see what it looks like refresh this page now let's see so you can see now through the annotations now we're able to add an extra field called total value and if we check closely now it says 30 times 2 is 60 
see that it's still is 100 you can see everything is correct here now so you're able to get the total value of each product which is the product of the quantity and the price you understand so we're able to get that over here and that was due to the fact we're able to use annotations to get so and from what, from what i said earlier annotation helps you to add extra information or, or calculated fields to each object in a query set that is very very, is very, very important Annotation, annotations works on individual objects in a query set in the stand through it you can be able to add additional information or calculate or extra calculated field to each object in a query set so next nice thing now let's go let's go and look into aggregations in the stand. so we are doing annotations now so let's look into aggregations so so what is aggregations now aggregations are used to retrieve aggregated results from a query set in the stand. they allow you to perform calculations on a set of values and return a single result in the stand. Django provides several aggregation functions such as the sum method, the count method, the average, met the, the average method, the mean and the max method which, which you can use to perform calculations on specific fields. So here's an example. So we are going to use this product, we are going to use this product model again and this time we are going to want to find the total value of all products. In the database instead and we are going to achieve this using the aggregate method instead so we've done annotations now so we are also on aggregation so aggregation simply helps to work on a it, it, it works on a given query set and it returns a single value instead but annotations works on objects in a query set why aggregations works on the whole query set you get so right now let's see how aggregations work so to your to our views of pi now so what we want to achieve now we want to get the sum of all these values this 60 we want to get the sum of this total value the sum of this the sum of we want to get the sum of the total values in this time so how do we achieve this so we can only achieve this using the aggregation methods let's let's that right now so to your views of pi phi just down here Okay, so I'm going to add, I'm going to simply add a new, I'm going to say sum total should be equal to, and I'll say products dot objects dot aggregates dot aggregates. And I'm going to also give it, so I'm going to just give it this name called total. So sum total, I'm going to call it total. I'm going to say should be equal to sum. So I want to sum up. We we'll to sum up all the total values we got from here. Understand? So how do you go about? I'm gonna say sum, and then put in parentheses. So we also may just copy this now. Copy what we have up here. Control C and I'll paste here. So we need to also import this sum method from our Django.db.models. So I'm gonna just put in comma here and they say sum. So I think it's having imported right now. So what, what I do now is this. So now I'm trying to just get the total. I want to get the total value of all the products. Instead, remember when we use annotation, we're just getting the we are getting the product of the product quantity and price. But right now, I want to get up. I want to get the sum of everything. I want to get this. I want to get the sum of this 60, 180, and 70. This might be too small. Let me just increase it. So we get the sum of 60, 180, and 70. So we are going to use the aggregate method. That's what we are doing here. So right now I'm going to pass this to my context. So so pass it. I'm going to say I'm going to just call it total. You understand? So let me just say sum total. Sum total. Sum underscore total. Once I've done that now, just say sum underscore total. So that done. So we've done this now. We're gonna we are, so now we're gonna go down to our index.html and just here I'm just gonna put let me just put in a br tag and then just come over here and let's just, just say um okay you can just come over here now. We're gonna say sum underscore total dot total. You understand? So that's what we are gonna do. So let's do right away. So come over here. You know, say sum underscore total 
dot so from what we have here this so remember what, from wow what, what you can see here now this some someone that's got total is coming from our context dictionary which is the key this key here so now i'm going to then say dot total to get the actual value of the summation you understand so just here i'll just put in dot total there dot total remember total is coming from we add a set we, we set total up here we can see total here equal to sum you can see that way we get that way we are getting our total from so i go down to my let me just run the server again the server is broken so let's run server again i hope everything should be fine when the server is done running so okay my server is done running now to the browser let me just refresh this page now right now you can see we have 310 this 310 is simply the sum of the total values which is 60 plus 100 plus 80 plus 70 and that gives us 310 remember i said i said aggregations works on the entire query set why annotations works on each object in a query set so that's so that's it about annotations and, and aggregations in django in a sense so they provide a powerful way to calculate values and retrieve aggregated results efficiently from your database you understand so i really hope you've learned something i really hope you've gained some value in this video so if you did gain some value please subscribe to the channel you can like the video and you can also share with your friends so thank you for watching so we'll meet in the next video so stay blessed and bye bye